Let's take a look at both dictionaries and at uh, lists and see actually how we could uh, combine the two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by creating a, a real quick dictionary here uh, that I'm going to call Christopher. And I'm actually going to make this um, an empty dictionary just by using that uh, those two curly braces uh, there. And this is actually something I find myself doing quite frequently that uh, it's a, just kind of a real nice uh, placeholder, a real nice way just to create something uh, completely from, uh, from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and say Christopher and let's say first and let's set that equal to, well, Christopher. There we go. And then let's say um, Christopher, and then we'll say uh, last, and then Harrison, just like that. Now, I'm going to create a, uh, a second dictionary here. And I'm going to do that by just doing a real quick um, copy and paste. And then I'm going to use one of my, um, uh, my favorite uh, little features here inside uh, Visual Studio. Um, and that is I'm hitting Control D uh, as in Delta. And when I do that, each time I do that, it's actually just highlighting then the, uh, the, the next match. And you'll notice that it does not match just based on case, which can be a, both a good thing and a bad thing. And I can now just change all of that in one shot there. So now, rather than it being Christopher, now let's go ahead and update that to be uh, Susan. And then let's change the last name here like that. So now let's say presenters, or actually we'll just go a little more generic here, maybe just people. Let's make that a, um, a list. And then we'll say people.append. And I'll add on uh, Christopher, and then we'll say people, append, and then I'll add on uh, Susan, just like that. So you'll notice that with a list, I can add in whatever it is that I might want. So I can add in dictionaries, I could actually add in other lists, whatever objects it is that you have, um, etc. And I can even uh, create an item on the fly here, so I could say people.append, and then go first and let's set this to Bill, and then uh, last, and let's set this to uh, Gates, just like that. So I don't even need to have the, uh, the object created as a variable. I can just, right there on the fly, go ahead and, uh, and create it. And you'll notice uh, right there, I've got that uh, opening curly, and I've got the uh, close curly at the, uh, at the end. So if I now say print, and people, then what I'm going to see here is Christopher, Susan, and Bill. So let me save this. Let me bring up my little screen. And let me, uh, Python 3, uh, run my demo.py file here. And what you're going to notice is right there. There is Christopher. There is Susan. And then there is Bill at the, uh, at the very end. And so the, the takeaway here is that with our dictionary, I can effectively just create an object on the fly, uh, which is really nice to be able to do. It gives you a lot of power, a lot of flexibility. And then by using a list, I can then store multiple whatever it is, including the ability to add in other dictionaries. So we've got a lot of different ways that we can work with and, and deal with multiple types of data, multiple items inside of Python.